Hey guys, welcome to the Brand Planning Channel, and today we're going to be looking at the I Blew It story from season three, episode six of Isaac Perry Shimani, and figure out what went wrong. Let's get into it. So today's story, we're looking at Isaac Perry who went through a accident while he was actually in fact going to view another accident in the usual case where when the accident happened then bystanders come through and as of a, as he was one of the bystanders unfortunately a car sort of ran him over while they were viewing another accident so at the end of the day there were two accidents that happened there this accident led him to being bedridden or hospitalized for about a month or two broken leg broken hand or broken arm and yeah it was quite devastating for him and subsequently that was the claim that allowed him to be able to claim from the RAF basically he claimed from the RAF he was assisted by a neighbor uh, someone that he knew that lived close by to help him to go claim most people don't know how to claim you know these RAF things so in most cases someone just gets helped by someone that has some sort of an experience but ultimately lawyers get involved and you know they push your case and with RAF at the end of the day the lawyers take their cut and then you get in the net or the majority stake of the claim so in this case Isaac got 1.1 million rand in terms of his RAF claim so another thing to keep in mind is RAF claims are not subject to income tax as they are capital of nature to use terminologies that we use in the tax world and what that basically means is that the income tax system taxes you on the income that you generate so an RAF claim is not something that you generate you didn't work for it but it's um, you know it's like getting an insurance claim and that insurance claim is something that you are you know it's compensation at the end of the day so that money is supposed to be used to better your life or to you know help it out from something that has happened so it's like an insurance claim right it's supposed to try to restore you to where you were before the accident but obviously it's not a perfect fix it's just compensation for what had previously happened so this money will not be subject to income tax whatsoever so in general um, Isaac is a go-getter he dropped out of school in grade 11 I'll talk more about that later in the video but as he dropped out, he dropped out because he just wanted to find a way to actually make money because, you know, at the end of the day, when, you know, people have an opportunity to learn, it's not easy to learn when you're busy, you know, going through poverty related issues, you're hungry, you're unable to perform at school. So it's very demoralizing and good for him that he thought of, let me go get a job and do something with my life while you know something else slash education is not necessarily working out for him so he took a job he was earning some money and was able to sustain it so yeah there's not a lot of things that went right because in in essence i mean this is a story of many you know poverty stricken people you know that not a lot is going on it's the small things that are important and you know it's just unfortunate that many people live under such conditions so at the end of the day, those are the few things that went right what went right after he got the money once again it's not quite a lot of things but the few things that one can say is he, he purchased assets um it's always important to purchase assets that you need right you don't want to just purchase assets for the sake of purchasing assets but at the end of the day it's like you are because remember cash is also an asset so if you don't have a use for the assets that you're buying you have a better use for cash or rather let cash stay with you instead of buying so many assets thinking you're investing or whatever because at the end of the day the assets that you buy i.e in this case he bought cars he bought quite a lot of cars and what those cars are are depreciable assets so in other words these are assets that the minute you buy them and you drive them off the showroom they start losing value whereas cash yes it does lose value due to inflation but that's more it's slower 
and there's things that you can do and you can find better use for them because it's, it's a liquid asset in other words it's something that you can just buy whatever that you need versus a car for it to be turned into a liquid asset whereby you can buy whatever you want you have to sell it and by the time you sell it you're not going to sell it at the same price that you bought it at you're going to you know basically sell it at a lower price and the final thing that went right is he started a business he did not push as hard as I wish he could have pushed in the business but as the friend um, explains the business was making money it lasted a few months though but the problem is as much as it was making money the issue is it was not managed well in terms of the finances that were in the bank those finances came in and they came out so yeah we'll talk about that later as well This guy, he does admit that ever since he was young, he's been, you know, the, the, the opposite gender has been driving him crazy. And obviously, as I've previously mentioned, that when money comes to you, it exasperates what was already there. It will always amplify the issues that you have. So that being said, that's exactly what happened. This guy spent so much money on women as you know in the video he explains that him and his friend used to call women options because they just had that many options because of the money they had and it's it's so unfortunate when you know one falls for these type of situations and you know you're falling into it you're just buying into it you know what you're doing but hey they spent their money and they you know they did what they did it is what it is so yeah but once again those are the type of things that went wrong even his uncle expressed that he told him leave women alone because at the end of the day your money is just leaving because once again i would always say rather have that one special person that you can focus all your attention to at least you guys can build one another you guys can you know build something you know and that money does not go to waste because you guys are you know you stick to you stick with each other through thick or thin and you know at least but now you spend on randoms and then guess what that money is just gone those benefits are just gone those people they come and they go so yeah woman another thing that went wrong is this guy spent way too much money buying cars and you see it's it's one it's not a bad thing to have many cars right because he bought an avanza uh he bought you know some sort of a bucky i think the bucky was 75k the avanza was about 110k he bought a polo so if you look at the profiles of those type of cars it's they have different uses a polo could be his day-to-day -day, you know sort of uh, car the Avanza could have been used to transport family members so you know to, to, to do something to transport you know quite a number of people uh, an alternative car if one would call it that and then you had the Bucky which could be the workhorse right so for me with three cars he's fine he doesn't need to be buying any more cars but obviously we do find out that he did buy another car which I'll talk about it when a scam happened and whatnot but in essence at the end of the day you don't have to buy what you don't need that's the most important thing so unfortunately he did do that and once again you're just letting go of cash which is an asset that you, or it's a better asset than a car whereas a car is a depreciable asset so that's where the problem is and unfortunately he didn't see it that way and that's one of the things that went wrong because he just kept on buying cars and once again cars have running costs wear and tear petrol so many things and i don't know why people like buying second hand cars when they have so much money but once again i'm not gonna get into the credit and all that debate but at the end of the day too many assets without any purpose is a problem another thing which is the usual case in these i blew it videos is that unlimited funds complex right the illusion of thinking that the amount of money that you have of course it's a lot it's, it's just so much you feel like it's never gonna end and that complex unfortunately leads to mismanagement it leads to you know just money flowing out at will simply because you just have to be that guy and show off how popular or not well not necessarily how popular but show off how money you are that you can buy anything right so unfortunately that complex just drove his bank balance to the ground 
and we found out later in the video that approximately he spent about 400,000 rand on entertainment booze and women and such and such of which that is nearly half of his money it's about 30 to 40 percent so that is insane i mean it's really insane that one can spend so much money on just entertainment and once again there's no donations tax implications here because if you think about it in terms of entertainment alcohol and all those things this forms part of sin taxes of which this is the one tax that the government you know keeps making a lot of money out of and they, they are fine you can do whatever you want because at the end of the day from the purchaser side or from where you get your your, your sin taxes or your sin tax products from there's already some taxes that are quite heavy on those products that are being paid for and they're being transferred to the consumer so all that money paid the tax including vat sin taxes including vat and so on so yeah the government is more than happy if you are indulging in these type of things because they are getting their money back and they are pushing the economy but unfortunately the major loser in this whole value chain is you the consumer who is consuming at a rate that is reckless of course these type of things are supposed to be done in moderation but hey people like this guy like isaac here spend so much that it was just you know it's not normal you know you spend it for yourself and other people that you know and don't know it's just wasteful and fruitless another thing that went wrong is the car scam that he was involved in whereby he wanted to buy a car for 350,000. once again i don't know if he needed a car i don't know why he was buying a car but he felt the need that he wanted to buy and he was too quick to want to do this transaction i really don't understand why this guy was so opportunistic in terms of buying cars but once again lack of education leads to such situations right once again you don't necessarily need to pass your matric or everything like because certain decisions are it's just a matter of being you know of applying common sense right but yeah that's what happened he lost quite a bit of some money there just because of his weakness for women and his supposed weakness for buying cars at good prices, I guess. So yeah, guys, we've covered everything that we usually cover, what went wrong, what went right. And just looking at the story just to close is that once again, guys, just because you have a lot of money that you're not used to does not mean it's infinite. Money will run out also the sad thing is RAF money is meant to equalize your quality of life considering the fact that you were hurt you lost something very dear to you which is your body that's why if you think about it in insurance terms we have things like disability cover we have things like you know you, you know your, your key man insurance all types of insurance that helps you to protect your body which your body as a human being it's your biggest asset that you can ever own because at the end of the day with your body you are expected to be able to you know contribute to your quality of life contribute to your quality uh, in terms of whatever way that you decide to live and if you lose that ability there are insurances for that it's a multi-billion if not trillion you know rand industry and for you to be in, in the supposed fortunate opportunity of getting RAF money for losing, you know, your 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 bodily function is, you know, a fortunate situation considering the fact. And for you to waste that opportunity, it's really, you know, heartbreaking to to witness. And I, I hope as you watch this video, you know somebody or you're in this situation, you find ways to manage that money better to make it last for you at the end of the day also please comment down below let me know if you know somebody in a similar situation and let's see how we can help you out because i mean you guys do engage and i really appreciate it so yeah guys at the end of the day that's isaac's story very tragic that he went through what he went through but looking at the video he seems fine he looks like he's you know he's, he's, he's back in some way somehow but it's just unfortunate but yeah once again really thank him for sharing his story because he went through it so that we can learn from it so yeah guys hope you subscribe more videos coming i'm going to catch up and thank you for supporting the channel see you on the next one